Welcome to my channel Living Linux. In this video I want to show you how to install OpenCL on a Rockchip RK3588. And actually OpenCL is for the GPU, so the Mali G610. Now this is already from around two years ago so yeah i'm a bit surprised that i never ran into this before so you can just follow these instructions uh, because you probably need to get some files and you also need to install the OpenCL MISA driver and CL info and yeah you need to do some more stuff which I'm not really sure what is happening but just follow it and uh, it will work. And once you get here, then you can do seal info. And uh, it will show you some information about the OpenCL driver. So you can see OpenCL 2.1 and I also saw that some people were mentioning OpenCL 3.0 so here but um, yeah this is the first time that I actually got OpenCL running so um, to tell the whole story, I actually ran into this. Running large language models on the GPU of the Rockchip RK3588. And as you can see, that is already from two years ago. Um, it's a bit unfortunate that uh, yeah, during uh, this period, it stopped working, uh, as you can see here. And it fails because chat module is no longer available. And yeah, that's a bit unfortunate because, yeah, they explicitly removed it. So, but if we go to this example of how to run a large language model on the RK3588, and well, here it says Orange Pi, but I don't have Orange Pi, I have a Racha Rock 5B, and also the 5A. Uh, but yeah, you can follow uh, these instructions, I guess, on any Rockchip RK3588 uh, system. And I think that they say that um, you can try with Ubuntu and probably the one from Joshua Rigg uh, or Armbian, uh, perhaps also with some of the Debian that some of the vendors ship. Uh, so this example here, I'm not going through the whole thing because unfortunately it failed. Uh, oh yeah, so this is the Python script. 
so here you can see that they called the Python script chat.py. Uh, but this is actually old because it's still referring to chat module and that one was actually removed. So I did try to go back um, with the GitHub code to somewhere in 2024, but then I got some other error message and I got a bit frustrated. Uh, so I need to take some more time to see if I can find a point in time that it does work. Um, Yeah, I got to the point that um, I'm able to start it. And in the example, they have Llama 3, 8 billion parameter model file. So it says like, uh, yeah, I can find OpenCL. But then it says failed to parse metadata. And if we go to the bottom uh, I think it says whoops what did I ah here sorry the max bed size wasn't found in the JSON object. Now that is a bit weird because if we go to um, I think what's that again? No, what's this? Yeah, llama, and then, yeah, so here, this is the file, and then I do see max pet size. So, yeah, I'm not really sure why it says it can't find the key. Well, anyway, I also ran into this one. And yeah, the installation steps are similar, but I think here they want you to uh, make a link and yeah here but I didn't need to do those steps but yeah if you run into any issues then you might have to follow this procedure now um, they have an OpenCL example program. So just create a file named cldevices.c, for instance, and then just, just copy everything here. And then you can compile it. So that's what I did. So here you can see that I just uh, copied the text. Then I compiled it and then you get this object. And it's sort of like a hello world. So here it just uh, gives you information about the OpenCL driver. Now, yeah, I was hoping to get 
a large language model running on the GPU but unfortunately uh, I was stopped by an error and um, yeah I will try to yeah go back to another date with that github uh, repository perhaps that we can still make it work in the old way with chat module uh, and if not then yeah perhaps we can try to make it work uh, with the new way and that we can get past this uh, max batch size not found error because um, yeah for some reason I do see it in the JSON file but he says it's not there so now yeah unfortunately I can't show anything really interesting at the moment but I guess anyone that wants to try OpenCL on the RK3588 well the installation procedure is uh, not that hard but uh, programming OpenCL that is uh, really way beyond my current knowledge so unfortunately I cannot show you anything interesting at the moment but still I think it is interesting to tell you that you can get OpenCL working on the Rockchip RK3588 so this is all for now and I hope to see you again in my next video.